Good Monday morning, another Monday. Uh, I'm going to read you a story this morning called Mule Train. It's written and illustrated. That means the pictures are drawn by a man named Craig Brown. And I worked with Craig Brown. He was an art teacher where I was principal. And so I have a special place in my heart for this book, but it's Mule Train by Craig Brown. And let's see what this adventure brings us. Anthony, the postman, doesn't wear a uniform. He wears a cowboy hat, chaps, and spurs. Here's Anthony. Anthony doesn't drive a mail truck either. He drives a mule train. He picks up the mail at the south rim of the Grand Canyon. Do you know where the Grand Canyon is? Anthony ties the boxes of mail onto the mules, pack saddles, and checks all the knots. He talks softly to the mules to calm them down. The mules carry letters and packages along with groceries, water, clothes, and even computers. During the holidays, they deliver everything from pumpkins and turkeys to Christmas trees. What an interesting, interesting job. When the boxes are loaded, Anthony waves his lariat and calls out, Hiya! The mules start moving along the dusty trail. The mule train has a long way to go. The canyon floor is more than one mile below. Look at that. Anthony zigzags along sharp switchbacks. See that? He rides across high plateaus and sometimes he stops to look. Look down on this end. Can you see a scary creature? I do. The trail is steep and narrow. Anthony and his mules carefully squeeze past hikers. They pass the bones of a mule that had fallen from the trail. Look at the side, how dangerous. See the bones of the mule down there? Yeah. Some days the trail is slick with mud. Slippery ice is the most dangerous, but the trip has never been canceled in spite of rain, sleet, hail, and flash floods. The mail must go through. Can you see him in the cold there? Oh. At last, the mule train reaches the canyon floor. Anthony follows a dry riverbed as it snakes between high sandstone walls. We live near sandstone, don't we? See those sandstone walls? It is, in, it is hot in the canyon. When the mule train reaches Havasu Creek, Anthony lets the mules take a quick drink from the crystal clear water. See his mules and his dog drinking? Oh, that feels good, huh? After a long journey down the canyon. Anthony and his mules continue on their way in the shade of the old cotton trees. Soon they can see a village of Supai tucked into a lush valley between beneath steep red walls. This is home. The mule's ears perk up 
and they walk faster. You see all that? Anthony leads the mule train into the village. He calls out, whoa, and the mules stop outside the post office. He scratches each mule behind the ears. Villagers greet Anthony as they come to pick up their mail. Anthony's wife and five sons hurry out to meet him. Oh boy, look at all that fun. Then Anthony the postman and his family walk home with the day's mail. And this talks about how this all takes place in the Grand Canyon and how this, it's so steep, but there really is a village down at the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed this story, The Mule Train by Craig Brown.